Okay, uh, this is game two in the series, and because I don't actually know where the upload starts for this, uh, the TLDR is I had some issues with the internet. Uh, connecting to Twitch became an impossibility, and I was dropping frames no matter what I did. Uh, I feel really bad because I've not been casting anything since we got back from Hell's Boot Time, and I really wanted to hop into some casting today. So hopefully this local recording session will do for you all. And uh, this is game two in the best of five. Sorry, uh, there we go, score fix now. In the best of five between these two players. Spawn in the top left corner of the map, he just felt the wrath of a bit of cheese in game number one. It's going to be the blue Terran player top. Now I do plan to go back and local record, so hopefully this whole this whole front end thing is going to be a bit redundant. Um, I'll explain again in a second. In the bottom right is going to be the red Zerg Acer Bly, who is once again proxy hatchering. Uh, so this actually has very little to do with needing minerals. Uh, obviously he doesn't take a gold base. He's doing this, so he's got a closer rally point to drop things into top speed. Uh, again, I, I should... Go back and replay record the first game that's missed from this series, but on the off chance I don't, for whatever reason, maybe I can become complacent and forget. Uh, Bly did this really cool thing on Moonlight Madness where he proxied Hatchery. I had no idea what it was for. It was for Queens and Roaches with Burrow to just get Overlord carried to the main. And it was more than one Overlord, it was like two or three. So it was, quite frankly, really ingenuitive and no imaginative no intuitive ah fuck i give up on words it's too early for this i'm too fr frustrated and flustered from that the issue with the stream but anyways this is a this was a really cool move to see top almost held he almost had a tank out in time almost this almost that but this time around one of the big differences top's not going for a faster command center he's going for some one base play and I think his intentions here are more along the lines of trying to get those tanks out, not just to defend, but build a starport and attack with, do those tank drops that are so annoying. They, shut, they just straight up counter roaches. Uh, Bly is going to have to have a really, really strict timing if he wants to make this work, because Top will have tanks this time. Last time it worked because he got on top of them before anything was really available. But then again, Burrow play with Bly, never to be underestimated. Bly is so good and so... Well, tenacious, determined, I'm not sure which of those words is better, but when it comes to bird or roaches, if not both, he's uh, quite quite persistent in getting victories with either. <laughs> I know, I went and tweeted about uh, what's going on, so hopefully we got everyone in the know. But yeah, there's that burrow play. This time, keep in mind, Top did no scouting. He is just 100% trying to blind counter this. Bl blind counter this. Ah, oh, that pun is too easy. I always go for it. Now, one of the big differences by having Marines on these ledges, it only does take about the DPS of two to kill an Overlord. Uh, Hell, one will actually almost kill it. It'll still unload one or two Roaches, but either way, there's more than enough Marines to keep this from getting too out of hand. Recognizing that there's the tank out, this is kind of... Uh, oh, it's going to be really difficult for Bly. I don't know, he might actually go towards Overlord's speed just to get around a little bit easier, but there's a Viking on the way, for goodness sake. The tank drops are coming. I mean, top... Top knew exactly what Bly had planned for this, and he is far too well prepared. In fact, I kind of almost think this is like a hard counter for the fact that Bly had a ton of drones back at home. Uh, now Top's trying to go the long way around. There's still two Marines up here waiting and lurking, and even once those roaches come out, the tank can still unload and drop and pick off. Let's see how the Overlord's going to get knocked down. We might actually see Bly tap out, depending on how this goes. But he's not the type to tap out quickly. Uh, he does take own, his own natural base back at home. We can hope to stabilize. Problem is, though, a lot of the times when you see these tank drops, the answer is either a lot of queens or faster mutalisks. And sadly, Bly has neither. The Overlord's going to die with four roaches inside of it. Ugh, that's going to hurt. Queen dies out here as well. Try to pick off the medevac more so than the tank just to keep this from going across the map. This hatchery really doesn't matter to Bly. This was just a point of production more than anything else. Could borrow the queen, potentially. Yeah, looks like he might just see that and spread some creep in a little bit, but I think Top's gonna scan. Did he go for- yeah, he went for the faster orbital this time, too. He, he knew Burrow was gonna be in play. Man, Top was on top of the game for this, no pun intended. He- he really just hard countered what Bly was going for. We got Liberator following this up, too. Finally have his own command center coming out, but Bly's reaching out for three hatcheries? Oh, wow. He's on one gas. He doesn't really have the means to deal with the siege tank drop effectively. Kind of nasty. Uh, one bro did get, or one roach did get made. It did get burrowed. I'll be able to deny, help deny the base for a little bit. Once these tanks all leave, the queen fucking unbro. She might go for the snipe on that tank. That's so sick. Uh, I don't. I think spreading creep might be a little bit better in this situation. All things considered. Yeah, there we go. Let's slap down a couple of tumors. Or maybe not. Uh, she messed up. She goofed. 
She's like, I gotta auto inject that hatchery, man. I don't care how far away it is. I gotta get my babies on. Uh, more roaches and lings being made, or lings specifically, rather, coming out of the eggs at this side of the map. So we might actually be able to push up this ramp. But truth be told, Bly is gonna need everything at home. Top is pushing in with not a lot, but it's enough. I guess is the way to phrase it. Tank towards that main and well this was a really cool tactic from Bly in game number one that just destroyed top it's not quite working out here in game two and top again just you probably like Rifkin you've already said it once or three times get over it but like he really played this well he knew exactly what was coming without scouting he predicted Bly you read him like a book now that's a hell of a lot of lings but those are siege tanks that can be maneuvered around, picked up, and dropped. So, yeah, with the Liberator cover fire, too, all those links quickly dissipate. Now, Bly did get some links to the main of his opponent. Top's bleeding out some SCVs, but it's not going to be enough. Not with the Liberator tank and Marines at home to defend. Creep tumors aren't going to deny anything. GG's going to be called, and Top will tie up a series one to one. 